It used to be that crossover sleds were all the rage. You know, the 137s? Not so much anymore. Nowadays, 137 is considered a trail sled, and the true crossovers, or 50-50s, are actually 144 or 146 inches in length. And with so many fish in the 140-inch sea, a lot more folks have been asking about options for both studs and carbides for these sleds. However, it's not as easy as it was in the 90s by just knowing your track info based off the sled. Now with factory options, you could have any number of tracks on your 144 or 146 inch ride. So what's the right choice? Well, it should always come down to balanced traction. And by that, I mean not too much bite up front from your carbides, causing it to feel heavy steering and awkward. And likewise, not too much grip out back from your studs or the paddle on the track, causing it to push through the corners. It's truly the harmony or the balance between these two that you should always be trying to find with your traction products. There are many companies who make traction products, but I look to Woody's who are always innovating and designing new and helpful products. From their multi-pattern stud guides to track drills, marking tools, and even shallow sockets, and easy to hold round head Allen keys for installing studs. They always have the right product and the tools to get them installed. Now the sled that I have for you today is a 2021 Polaris Assault 146. We spec it from the factory with the two inch lug. What does that mean for studs? It means we're not using them but your 146 or similar 50-50 sled may not have a two inch lug on it. If you opted for either of the Cobra track options in 1.3 or 1.6, one you can still utilize studs like the Grandmaster or Grandmaster Pro. They're designed to be used in single ply tracks and the Pro is now available with a much more pronounced sharpened carbide tip for even better traction. You can buy Woody's stud kits with all the nuts and backers all in one package or customize the backer shape and color to match your ride or accent it accordingly. Now with the two inch paddle out back, we're completely out of studding territory, but we're still getting huge bite, especially on those days where the snow is fresh and deep or likewise soft and heavy. If you do have one of the other track options and have opted for studs, you're gonna need to make sure that you proportion the grip you're getting up front so that you don't mess with the handling of your sled and cause it to push. To accomplish this, I recommend the Ace Carbide from Woody's because it features a unique host bar design that I've found to be the best help in keeping your long track, deep lug, or studded 50-50 sled tracking where you want it to go without becoming too heavy up front. The Ace Carbide is unique as it doesn't use a round host bar like the majority of carbide runners. In this case, it's a square profile. While you might not think a square profile steel host bar is a really big deal, remember the host bar itself does a lot of the work of turning your sled on the trail. So adding that extra square edge profile to the bottom of your ski gives you an even greater grip on the snow surface and also pushes the carbide deeper into the snow. The Ace Runner is available in four, six, or eight inch carbide versions, and this will allow you to run the right amount of carbide for your desired traction package. For me, I'll be running the eight inch Ace Carbide on the two inch Lug Assault to balance out all that rear grip. However, if you're running the one six inch track, you'd probably find the six inch Ace to be sufficient and likewise, if you bought your Assault or other 50-50 sled with a 1.352 Cobra, you'll find the 4-inch Ace to deliver great characteristics. Well, these are only guidelines, it's important to remember that just because you're on a 50-50 sled doesn't mean that you're not going to benefit from the proper traction products. And in fact, the right setup is actually going to make you more confident both on and off trail. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.